everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sabrina. I am a pagan witch and I've been making videos this month called Yule Edition and what it means to be a pagan and what it means to celebrate Yule. What is Yule? And some uh, talks about things that I've been buying to decorate the house. Things are getting more expensive and I've always had to go to the Dollar Tree. Well, not had to, but I just found over the years that I keep going back to it because I can get so many things that I really want um, or almost exactly what I want or good enough, you know, close enough for an affordable price. Um, so I, I got some decorations for the house for the table or the coffee table and for my front door. Now, I have been asking my, my friend, I went out to lunch with my friend, and I've been thinking about how when I lived in the desert, I lived in Palm Springs at one time for a while, actually, I think 10 years. My mom would take me to restaurants in the hotels. They were beautiful, and of course, when you walk into the lobby, a lot of times, there in the Palm Springs area, um, where a lot of wealthy people would go out to eat or stay in the hotel, there'd be a big, beautiful water fountain. But then when you go in the restaurant, it would be decorated beautiful with tablecloths and candles and fresh flowers and a chef. So my mom had told me it's beautiful and, you know, the food is really good. So she took me to a couple of those and I thought, you know, Applebee's is nice, but sometimes they're super busy and I can't really think of some other restaurants that are quite as upscale, you know? And I said to my friend, I would like to go out to lunch in one of these hotel restaurants. Would you like to go? And she said, yes. So we went to the Holiday Inn downtown here. And I had called two times and they said they had breakfast till 11 or 11.30 and then they had lunch. But they didn't say you couldn't go into the restaurant for lunch. So we get there, I'll show, insert a picture here of the lobby, which is very nice to walk into, you know? And I go to the restaurant and they said, oh, no, you have to sit in the bar for lunch. I'm like, nobody told me that. <laughs> so then we go in the bar and the guy seems like he's busy. And I said, excuse me. He's like, yeah. And I thought, oh, boy, we're batting a thousand here. And my friend was there, you know, and she said, oh, we have to sit in the bar. Nobody told me that. Uh, so he said, no, you can sit anywhere out here I said but isn't that the restaurant he said not really I got tables I got tables out here behind the bar you know here's the bar and then you go around and there's more seating I said okay thank you so we were the only ones there it was very quiet very nice we sat in a very comfortable booth and he gave us very good service so I don't know what happened when I first greeted him, but, and I wasn't sure how the food was really going to be, but yeah, it was very good. She was very uh, appreciative of the idea. I think she had actually been asking me a week ago, where do we go to eat anymore? I don't, you know, I said, I don't know. So, <laughs> but I, um, Decided I would try the Dollar Tree one more time for poopy bags. They have been having shipment delays. And my friend said she's got shipment delays now for the product she needs for her business. So I'm thinking, okay, here we go. You know, we're going to get more shipping delays and prices are going up. I, I was going to take two, but I just took one. There's 60 in each roll, and they're a dollar. Walmart wants like $4.99 or $5.99. And I mean, I, come on, I, I can't do that. 
So, I mean, if they're available at the Dollar Tree, and I could be a hoarder and I could take three or four, but not today. Um, I actually ordered a temporary kitchen table for my kitchen because it's been a year and a half now that I have been trying to live without a kitchen island. And it just means a lot to me because that's where I prep my food. My ex-husband doesn't understand it because in the mobile home, he's still in the mobile home, there's this huge wraparound breakfast bar because there's not really any space for a dining room table in the kitchen. It's a big U-shaped kitchen with a big breakfast bar, but he's decided that's where he needs to put all the appliances and all of his paperwork. So I had to struggle with him just to get two placemats and two bar stools at, you know, that thing because it was huge. All right, Jade. Come on, you already broke it. You already broke it. No. And um, so I'll insert a picture here. This one is from Target. And it's very much like the one that I had in my downtown apartment with my daughter and then took to the mobile home. It's 42 inches wide. And it's not really that heavy, you know, and it's not super sturdy. But it's less than five feet, which was perfect for the downtown apartment and for the mobile home. If I had a five foot wide in the mobile home, I wouldn't have been able to get around it on one side. However, this kitchen is so big I can give ballroom dancing lessons. <laughs> and insert clip here. <laughs> and I just don't have any counter space because the microwave is on the counter. It's not over the stove. And uh, I don't have enough drawers. So. <laughs> this one I found, I actually found the same one that I had with the faux marble top. But then I found another one with just a wood, wood top at Target. But the one that I really want is from Ashley Furniture. And that one at the outlet store is $2.35. So last night I was... I drove out to the store to make sure it wasn't, you know, lightweight and I could push it across the living room with two fingers, and it wasn't, but he didn't say anything about matching the price, and I told him, oh, why is the price different in the online store? And he said, oh, that's the outlet store, and I don't know exactly what that means, but he said, well, we won't have any of these until April. I said, well, the lady I spoke to on the phone said there was three. He said, well, I don't know, but no, we don't have any. Now, she was in the finance department, so I don't know if she was really looking in the right area at that time or not. And um, so, I'm hot. Ugh. The um, online store didn't have a customer service phone number, so I was trying to chat. I waited 15 minutes for somebody to try to answer me. Is why is there a, a plan, an insurance plan tacked on for $50? I don't see any option. And so he looked and he said, yeah, there's a little box you can check. He said, but I can match the price. We can match the price. I said, really? Because... The man I was talking to the other day when I was there didn't tell me that. He said, yeah, we can. And, I mean, I told him I had already been there twice to look at counter height dining room tables. And I really wanted one. And I, I really liked that one. And so I think he got the message that I really wanted to buy. So he said, yeah, you don't have to, we don't have to, you don't have to tack on that. It's an option. So I can put 30% down. And then he said, I can hold my place in line so that when they get them in April, I will be one of the top on the list, I guess, be first in line. But in the meantime, I have to have a kitchen island until April. So I'll be getting that one. So... <laughs> Jade's excited. I um, was looking for some, some more e.l.f. products. Now, the Dollar Tree Online has some 
elf boot legs with a little string on them that you can hang on the tree as ornaments. And it said available in stores only, but they're not available in the stores here. So I could have gotten a couple more of these, but I decided not to do that. I went to Michael's and the 50% off for their sprays and picks over there are still uh, four and five dollars for one pick to stick in the tree. And I thought, I just can't do that right now because I just bought the Kitchen Island at Target. So, so back to the taller tree I go. And I walk in and what do I see? Solar lights. I absolutely adore solar, guys. I hope that ARK Investments is in solar. I haven't really looked at what they're in lately. But I do put a few dollars into ARC Investments when I, I've got to rebuild my savings again. And uh, I have a little porch, of course. You know, when I had a house, I had landscaping and lights. And I um, am all for solar. Jade, she's jumping over the cord. <laughs> like it's limbo. Jade, I'm making a video. Don't do that right now. So I got the red, the yellow, and green. Now I would really like to get more to put in front of my front door so I feel really more like I have my house again where I could put my plants and my lights, but I can really only do it here just around the edge of the patio, but then anybody who's driving through here can see. The lights and I think other people have gotten the idea from me and they put a few solar lights there at the end of their patio then I got some more of these snugadoo socks if you're familiar with these types of socks kind of like um, similar to skims or what are those other ones dream 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 something or diabetic socks very, very similar. They're not as thick as diabetic socks, but they even have sparkles in them. One dollar. They're four ninety nine at Bed Bath and Beyond. Not doing it. So I have to get some more lights to restream the tree, and then I'm going to hang the red and white peppermint garland around. And then um, I don't know if you've ever had a decoration for the door. You know, you can put. Christmas paper on the door or you can actually get a door decoration that looks like present wrapping with a bow or there's other decorations I had for Halloween and I think for Christmas um, but they're gone so I got they had two of them one was Santa and then this one that just says have fun and that's what I'm all about this month really and truly um, what's it say? Oh, what fun! Yes, that's what I'm trying to get across to people that are celebrating Yule and some of these left hand pathers that just excuse me for saying, but they just get a little bit too caught up in uh, the mysteries and the magic and. We, you know, we have to guard against that. We don't want to get too fascinated with just the magics all the time and forget that joy that is supposed to come after a magical success or a magical working. And so then I found these window clings. I had some window clings and they said Merry Christmas and then I had... Happy Halloween, and they just got really kind of old and sticky, or dry rather, and they started falling off. So I got some new ones, and I'll take a picture of that after I put them on the door. And I got some more candy spoons. These aren't chocolate. They're peppermint. Aren't they cute? So my kitchen island is coming Monday, December 20th. Hopefully on that day or maybe the day before. That's a Monday. I don't think they'll deliver on Sunday. 
Then I can put my beautiful two-tier marble tray, which I don't think I've even shown you yet. I was out with my friend one day and um, that's what I was dead set on finding, you know, a really nice two-tier tray and I found it. And I didn't know if it was going to be ceramic. Um, I'd been thinking about marble and I thought, oh geez, it might be $30. It was $20. So it's gorgeous. And the other kitchen island that I was looking at made by Lancer uh, that had the faux marble on top, they had an, a second choice of color for that one, which was a white with gray in it, like one whole slab of marble with some gray. I mean, it looked like a piece of marble, whereas the one I had looked like it had these rectangles that were supposed to be faux marble with gray, dark gray, um, beige, and gold. It wasn't bad, and it would match in here, but I thought if I get this dark table with the white marble slab, it's going to stick out like a sore thumb in here because I've got brown countertops and orangey brown cabinets. So I just went for the, the wooden one that's espresso and it's got two little bar stools that have like a rattan type of a seat. But when I get my five foot long, very nice, sturdy dining room table in April, I'll also be getting some very nice upholstered bar stools with backs on them. So, you know, that's another thing I'm looking forward to now. And uh, I think my little magical working is helping me out with that. And then, I also found this little tray. It's just a thick plastic, but it looks like a piece of candy. And you know, my, my theme is candy, <laughs> peppermint candy this year for cookies or whatever. Won't that look nice on my kitchen island? <laughs> and then, what else? The other day I made a video about, I think my lunch and I made a pizza and I put it on a white plate. Guys, if you have never bought dinnerware at Dollar Tree, I highly encourage you to go and check them out because we've been buying dinnerware and glassware from Dollar Tree for years. And they're very sturdy and heavyweight. You can microwave them, you can throw them in the dishwasher they come in different designs and colors depending upon the season. Uh, I've got black ones I use for Samhain. And then I just got these white ones. Nice, nice big square ones. I haven't bought any plates for a long, long time. So I thought, this seems to be popular, you know, when you go to a restaurant like in a hotel. <laughs> or, I don't know, maybe you can get more food on there. Or red and white cookies. Red and green cookies would look really nice on this white plate. Another thing that happened to me the other day, I forgot to tell you before I go here, uh, and I'm not proud to tell you this, but as a warning, I caught my hair on fire. I'm, I'm embarrassed to say it, I'm very surprised, but I just washed my hair and it was drying and it was hanging down and I lit the candle and then I turned my head and I guess my arm went down, you know, and everything was just in the wrong position. And I heard this pss, and I thought, oh, the candle's going out because that was at the bottom. And then I look in my, I see flames. <laughs> oh my God. And all I could think of was, oh my God, it's right by my face. My hair's on fire. And I got really lucky because I just dropped the candle Hold her with the candle and I'm just going to... <laughs> I got it out. Thank God there was no burns whatsoever. I still have stinky hair that got singed off on the side. So yeah, just another warning that 
I need to give you for candle safety. Don't, don't let your hair hang down. You know, if you light a candle, put it somewhere. Don't just hold it, you know, and turn your head. If you've got long hair, it might be hanging down because you might not be as lucky as me and be able to get all of that out. That's the second or third piece of whatever around here. I had two pictures fall off the wall and the glass broke. Uh, the dollar store frame, the picture just slid right out of it. The frame came loose and then it hit the frame. I had my daughter's artwork that I had framed from the Hobby Lobby. That fell on the floor and glass went everywhere. And then this candle glass went everywhere. <laughs> like, oh my God, what is it with glass breaking around me this week? What else is there, James? Well, that's it. So I'm going to put a few things out and I'll put the garland on the tree. No, 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 no. And then I'll stick those um, clings on the window and then I'll put this on the front door and I'll take a picture. You gonna help me with all the decorations? Are you? I'm gonna put some on the window and the front door. Can you say hi to the peoples? It's just what I'm, you know, doing myself, and I hope that I'm inspiring you. And if you appreciate my decor videos, my Yule videos, or anything, you can donate to the Casting Cauldron PayPal account that I've had set up for several years. And I'll leave the link here. It's PayPal me forward slash Casting Cauldron. Uh, donations to help support everything that I do here are welcome and greatly appreciated. Thank you very much and I'll see you on the next video.